Okay, so I already have my foundation on and now I'm putting on my concealer and I'm also going to take it up and put it on the eyelids as well. Here I'm just putting some translucent powder underneath my eyes to catch any eyeshadow fallout. And for this video, I'm using a lot of colors from the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. And this color I'm applying now is called Crepe. And now I'm going to go in with the color Toffee and with a large fluffy blending brush, it's going to be our transition color. With that same brush, I'm going to go in with the color Maple just to darken the crease a little bit more. And on a smaller brush, I'm taking the color Rust from the same palette and putting it in the crease as well and blending all three colors together. I also put Rust on my eyelids. And here I'm going back in with Maple a little bit more to darken the crease up. And I'm also going to take it on the outer V of the eye to add a little more definition. I also add the color Bark to the outer corner as well. And now I'm just blending all those colors together. And here I'm just taking a clean makeup wipe just to sharpen up the lines. And with a flat brush, I went back in with maple because I wanted the outer V to be a lot darker. Now I'm going in with the Carly Bible palette and taking the first eyeshadow. I'm using it as my brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight. This gold pressed glitter is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Um, it is very vibrant and bright and very pretty. And with a wet brush, I'm just going to put that on the center of my eyes and kind of diffuse it out. Next, I'm going to apply some false lashes. These are from the brand Kiss. Here, I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner and I'm going to line the upper lash line to define it and also to hide the eyelash band. For my waterline, I'm going to use this black eyeliner pencil from ColourPop. And for my lower lash line, I'm taking all of the crease colors and applying it. And now I'm going to take this color Sequoia and put it on the outer portion of my lower lash line to define it and darken it. Now I'm going to go in with mascara. This one's from IT Cosmetics. It is their superhero mascara. To fill in my brows, I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Pencil. To bronze up my skin, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Face Powder in the color Cocoa, and I'm going to apply it to uh, my cheeks, temple, forehead, and neck. Here I'm taking a translucent powder just to clean up those lines a little bit. For blush, I'm going to take this palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to use that light pink blush color and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. This is a highlighter that I've had for a really long time. It came in one of my first Ipsy bags, so I'm not sure the name of it. It's kind of rubbed off. Now I'm going to go in with this NYX lip pencil in this light pink color. And for lipstick, I'm going to use Myth by MAC. And to add a little bit of shine, this is the lip gloss in the color Snob. After that, this look is complete. I hope you enjoyed this gold glitter makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned till next time. Bye!